as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you good morning guys hey uh for you that follow me you know what this is this is where our old little 19 inch TV used to be we've decided to move this one over here instead quite a bit bigger and uh, works a lot better so we took the 19 inch TV out and uh, you've seen that in uh, earlier videos and now what we've done is we've turned this into a place for her to hang her necklaces as we go down the road and we find a knob that she likes she buys one like these here and then when she gets enough we put this together now she's going to keep collecting them these are just uh, drawer pulls and we'll keep adding them to them uh, so she has a place more and more places to hang her jewelry and uh, if you're thinking of robbing us uh, uh, this jewelry isn't worth the price of my door, so I'll just leave it unlocked. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to show you something else. Today's project. This toolbox hangs on the back of my RV. As you can see right there, it goes in the stinger. You see that right there? Get that out of there so you shade. Anyway, that goes right in the back. And then my generator rides in there, and it's got vent holes and all that. Well, it's a toolbox, and it ain't made to sit outside. So the paint that was on it faded out. We're repainting it today. It's going to look like new or better. Uh, it, it rained on it. It didn't rain, but we got a lot of heavy dew down here in, in uh, Yuma. You can see that that's just from the, like I said, the dew. But this is what this looks like after it's done and mounted back up and uh, generators back in there and it works fine little trap door so I can take my uh, extension cord right out of there and run it right into here you've seen that probably on a video how I made this thing this is for your exhaust port uh, this is to fuel it up with you can put the funnel in there and fuel it you don't have to take the thing out like I said in the other video that you've uh, seen not long ago, uh, I ain't going to run it in there unless it's really, really cold out. And then I also have a thermometer in there that tells me when it's getting too warm in there. And I'll leave the door open anyway. But this is a vent to pull in air into the intake. Then you open up the front, the heat should come out. And it might look a little wobbly, but that's just the stinger inside the uh receiver it's just you know you know how they are they never fit right and so but the the hitch itself is not moving it is sturdy i made sure of that i think that's on there in another video but that's what i wanted to show you today and uh this other little piece i might throw in here or i've already thrown it in i don't know if i'm going to put it at the back or at the front either way you'll see it either now or you have have a great day everybody